Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17. We're currently on beta 4 and this update is actually amazing. It has a lot of new features and changes and the performance is actually quite good and battery life is getting better with each update. But there is a big, big problem with this update that we're going to talk about a bit later here on the video. First of all, let's talk about the release date of iOS 17 and we're talking about some more new features that we have been able to discover and everything else you need to know regarding this update. So first of all, let's take a look here at the calendar. So everything, all the reports, all the rumors are pointing at September 12th as the day where Apple will hold the iPhone 15 event. You know what that means that date after the event we will most likely get the rc version of ios 17 and with the pre-orders beginning september 15th and then the shipping on september 22nd we will most likely 99 percent guaranteed we will get ios 17 get released to the public right here on september 18th and that is the date that you should expect this update to come out to your device with all the new features and changes and now let's talk about some more new features and changes that we have been able to discover on the latest beta of iOS 17. And this one right here, this is for the alarm on the standby mode. So if you're using the device on the standby mode, you have an alarm set up, you will now also get the weather right there on the left top corner. So it shows the weather there and it says good morning, which is a really, really nice touch. With SharePlay on iOS 17 Beta 4, now you can scan a QR code to automatically join. And what's really, really cool is that the other person that is joining doesn't need to have an Apple subscription, an Apple Music subscription. You can just scan this and we'll be able to join here on SharePlay. Now this has changed here as well. So you know that Apple is always making some changes with fonts and different texts and different functions on the update page. Now this has been changed here when you go to update and actually the servers cannot connect and it will show that it's unable to check for an update. This is the new view that you will get and also a button here to try again. On FaceTime with iOS 17 beta 4, if you force touch, you will be able to get all the different FaceTime reactions. So it will show all of them right here in this pop-up. And of course you can easily use any one of them directly from there. iOS 17 beta 4 also now allows you to leave group chats for SMS. So if you're still using SMS, of course you might have some friends that don't have iMessage and you have a group there, you can now leave that group easily on iOS 17 beta 4. There's also a new pop-up for the control center and AirPods. So it basically shows you what you can do, all the different tips and tricks on how to use the different sliders and the volume controls for your AirPods on the control center. I'm not 100% this is new with iOS 17 beta 4, but I haven't seen this before in my device. It has started to pop up recently once I have updated my device to iOS 17 beta 4. And this pop up right here, if you want to update a reminder and it's a repeating reminder, it will show you this, uh, this pop up right here asking you whether you're sure that you want to do that because this is a repeating reminder. So of course, from here, you can update all the future reminders or this reminder only. So it will just be updated the next time and then it will move on to the usual schedule. And now let's move on and let's talk about that big problem that I'm seeing with iOS 17. And I've seen this reported by a lot of users. I know that when it comes to battery health, the iOS version that you have on your device might not have that big of an impact. And when you update, you see the battery health drop. That's not the fault of the iOS update. But since I have updated my device to iOS 17, the maximum capacity has been dropping really, really fast. Like you can see right now, it's at 89 and probably it was at around 96 maybe on back in June when I installed iOS 17. So it's actually dropping really, really fast, like two, three or even more percentages in one month. Now I had always betas on my device, of course, on the iPhone, the last one that I had, the iPhone 12 Pro Max did really, really good. And after two years, it's probably at around 81 or 82% on battery health on the maximum capacity here. And by the way, the things are going here with the iPhone 14 Pro Max, this probably will drop by the end of the year under 80%, which is really, really bad because this is quite a new device. I bought it 
at the end of September. So it's actually another month or more than more than one month until it, it's one year old. And of course, that time the battery was at 100% and it has dropped really, really fast. So I'm seeing this huge drop and a lot of people are reporting this once I have updated again to iOS 17. So maybe Apple has changed something the way they display the battery health or how they calculate that or something like that but it's actually dropping really really fast otherwise battery life is not that bad with ios 17 beta 4 so here we have here a few like different reports so right here we have at about 100 percent battery 8 hours 24 minutes here 100 percent 8 hours 49 minutes and right here seven hours so it's not the greatest ever but it's not that bad of course we're still on beta 4 and from now on we can expect apple to actually focus more on these improvements rather than releasing new features so that should get way way better until the public release of ios 17. and the geekbench test is also looking really good so when it comes to performance ios 17 is probably the best beta i had on my device ever so the single core score is at 2638 while the multi-core score is at 6767 and again the performance daily using this device on ios 17 has been really really great and it has a few like little bugs but nothing major of course it's still a beta of a, such a big update and it actually performs and it runs really really smooth so what's next for iOS 17? Well, of course, a beta 5 and we will get beta 5 this week, most likely. So expect Apple to actually release beta 5 probably tomorrow on the 8th or the 9th of August. One of these dates should be the release of iOS 17 beta 5. Then I would expect Apple to actually take another two weeks to release beta 6 right here somewhere on the 22nd on 23rd or 23rd. And then from this on, from beta 6 to beta 7 most likely we will have the weekly schedule so right here beta 7 beta 8 the rc version and then right here the official release of ios 17. so expect another two weekly uh, another beta tomorrow then another one after two weeks and then from now on from that date you can expect apple to release a new beta for ios 17 every single week until the public release so that's pretty much it for this video guys ios 17 is turning out to be a great update even though initially when apple presented it it seems like it will be just a minor update it has a ton of new features and changes that you will actually love and you can count probably around 400 new features and changes that apple has added to this update besides this problem with the battery health that i'm experiencing and i haven't seen a lot of other users experiencing this update will, will be great and you will actually enjoy it once it goes out to the public as we said we're expecting it on september 18th or maybe even 19th and it should be a great update so that's it leave a like if you enjoyed the video of course subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one